Yo, what's up guys, NQ here and welcome to another video and in this video uh, I will show you guys on how to configure your um, uh, your outfits in ESX police job. So I will show you guys on how to go from this to this. So the first thing that you need to do is um, go to your server. I host my server at sapposting.com and uh, I have a link in down in the description for an extra 20% off. So we're just going to um, start up our server and start up 5 We will connect to server. And you need to um, have 5M patron key to uh, be able to stream custom clothing. You can configure your uh, police outfits um, with uh, with standard clothing, but uh, most often you want to have uh, custom clothing. So uh, we'll just go to a clothing store real quick. We can take this for an example uh, because we need to find uh, the specific. Uh, clothes type that we want so we'll click E and we can choose here and down in our menu and we'll start off with torso so I will look up the torso that I want as my police uniform so I want this shirt and I want my arms To look good as well. So it's 30. And we need to have pants as well. Here. Uh, and shoes. And we need to fix our t-shirt as well. Like so. And there we have it. So now you're going to save um, or remember or write, write this down or just take a photo of it. I will take a photo of it. I can just back on that one. And now we need to go to our server. So just type quit and go to our server. ESX police job on config. And if you scroll down, you'll see this config uniforms. Uh, so here we have recruit wear, officer wear, sergeant wear, so we can change this here we have t-shirt one and if i look at my photo we had t-shirt on 38 and t-shirt two was zero and then we have torso torso was 100 uh, and torso two was three decals uh, zero arms 30 pants 46 uh, pants to zero shoes were 24 and no helmet and Shane was three and Shane two was zero and ears was zero so you're going to do it the same with the uh, female wear and then you need to have a female character of course uh, and you can do this over and over again uh, we can have different type of outfits depending on what rank you have um, and uh, yeah lieutenant wear female chief wear boss wear etc and here we have the bulletproof vest this works uh, the same way you um, check what type of bulletproof uh, vest ID you have and then just type this in here so we're going to hit save. I have a different type of script because I have uh, 
because I have uh, customized mine. So I have mine in uh, main.lua on client side. And if we scroll down here, we have it here. Uh, so we just find here are my settings for uh, Calatware. And this, if we scroll up here, uh, as I said, I customized this. Uh, it's the recruit. Uh, and we have officer and insats cladder, as we say in Sweden. Uh, and uh, yeah. So we're going to save this. And we're going to restart our server. And as I said, I have a link down in the description if you want some extra 10% off. So we start up 5M again and we connect to the server. So now if we go to our police station, uh, we can just do this for fun. And we, yeah, of course, set ourselves as policeman. And go to the cloakroom. And we can change our clothes. So, police uniform. I have it in Swedish because this is a Swedish server. We have the police uniform and this was the changes or the clothes that we uh, looked at down in the um, clothing shop take on your bulletproof vest um, and we can take it off as well the same works if you want different type of um, of clothes this is just one outfit we can uh, do uh, SWAT, or um, as we call it in Sweden, Insatsstyrka. And uh, we can have different type of West as well, if we want to. So we could do a police uniform. And we can take a traffic West. So uh, yeah, that's all for uh, this video on how to customize your uh, police clothing for your server. This works as well with the ambulance job. Uh, it's similar, very similar. So all you need to do is uh, edit in the config file or the main uh, file in the server or client, probably the client side, and you will get your uh, your clothing right. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope this helped. And um, if you want more videos, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.